The Selfish Path to Romance. Download Chapter 1 for free at drkenner.com. Why doesn't he let you do what you want? Yeah, I knew. Tell him off. Couldn't get any worse. Oh, that's rich. Like you guys tell your parents off? Mr. Future Lawyer and Mr. Future Banker? Okay, so I don't like it any more than you do. Well, just don't tell me how to talk to my father. You guys are the same way. All right, all right. And and some of the most difficult relationships in the world are those between kids and their parents, whether it's the, uh, a child and his mother or a child and his father. They're some of the most valuable, valuable relationships, some that can be the richest, and yet relationships that can cause you the most pain too. That's from Dead Poet Society. And if you're having some difficulty in your relationship with your kids or maybe a spouse or maybe even friends or a co-worker, pick up the phone and give me a call. I'm Dr. Ellen Kenner and my show is The Rational Basis of Happiness. And I'm a clinical psychologist here to take your calls and questions. My number is toll free one eight seven seven Dr. Kenner. That's toll free one eight seven seven D R K E N N E R. And I also have a website, Dr. dot com. And right now I want to welcome Jackie to the show. Jackie, you're deciding whether to stay uh, with your husband or not? Uh yeah, it's something that I've been thinking about um for several years actually. Yeah, what um, how long have you been married? We've been married uh, for 11 years, and uh, but have been together for 20. Okay, yeah. So it's a long, long-term relationship. How many kids? We we just have one daughter. She's 11. Okay. <laughs> Hence the marriage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's I get it. I didn't put two and two together that quickly. Right. Yeah. So tell me what's been going on the last several years that makes you consider leaving him. Um. I feel... Oh, I'm, I'm losing you a little bit. Oh, can you hear me now? No, you're very faint. Okay, oh, okay we'll continue, though. I'll, 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 uh, I'll try very hard. Okay. His behavior is getting out of control, I think. Yeah, in what way? Um, well, he's very irresponsible. He doesn't work. Um, he doesn't take care of me and my daughter. I'm the one who takes care of everything. I work, I pay the bills, I take care of her. Um, and he's just, I don't know, he just, he sometimes he doesn't come home at night and... Oh, that's suspicious. What's going on there? I'm sorry, what was that? That's suspicious. What's go- What do you suspect is going on there? I, I feel like it might be drugs. But oh, I'm not drugs? Sure. Any paraphernalia? I- uh, I haven't found any, but and recently. But I have, like three years ago, I found some in the house. What did you find? I found a pipe for smoking. Okay. And, um, you know, I, of course, I confronted him immediately, and and he denied that it was his, and and I haven't found anything like that since. But um, his behavior is just so erratic that yeah. I, I just feel like I. I, I've been staying for my daughter because I know how much she loves him and That's how sad. much she needs him, but I feel mm-hmm. like I'm setting a bad example for her now. You mean that she will think that relationships involve staying with somebody who's not taking responsibility? Right. Yeah. I, I I don't want her to think that's okay. I don't that's my problem is is it more important for her to have her father, or is it more important for her to see me take care of myself? It's more important for you to be honest. That's the bottom line. And it sounds like, have you been happy? Obviously not in the relationship, right? No, I no. it's been a long time since I've been happy. And it's not, it's not that he fought in the war and came home and had an injury and you're dealing with that. It's something that's within his control. He can right. choose to go out and use drugs or not. I mean, I, I don't agree with the disease model of drugs. And he, these are choices he's made. He, he's made. He can choose to find work and pick up some of the slack or if, if even be the man of the house, you know, try to be the man of the house. Or he could choose not to. And the fact that you're doing all of this makes him much less lovable by his own choices. 
Right, right. And that's you. That's exactly what we judge people on. We judge people on what's within their control. Could he have chosen otherwise in any of these? Could he have chosen to sit? sit could he choose right now to sit down and talk with you and open up about what's going on behind the scenes? Or do you have to live with this big, huge question mark or dark cloud looming over you saying, I'm doing something that I shouldn't be doing and I'm not telling you, but I'm not, I'm not going to tell you. And I'm also not taking responsibility. I'm not acting like a husband. I'm not acting like a friend. He's certainly not acting like a soulmate. Right. So if if your daughter has a, a view of him as a good daddy, um, does she also see some of the things that you're seeing that you do all the, the, yeah. And I used to cover it up a lot. Um, but I just felt like I couldn't do that anymore because I, I just felt like now I'm lying to my daughter. And so she's been starting to see the behaviors herself. And, um, and I guess that's why I'm feeling like now, she, now she's seeing it and I'm letting her see it. And now, now I'm condoning it by staying. Would he go into counseling with you or have you tried that? He suggested it, but he never follows through on it. If you made an appointment, what would happen? Um, let's see. Um, in the past, I did make an appointment once, and he didn't show up. Okay. Um, what? A, go ahead. Uh, I mean, I could try it again. I, I, I'll do anything that would benefit my daughter. So. Okay. And yourself. You want to keep yourself in. Uh, you're benefiting your daughter. By thinking, by being honest, actually, that's getting back to my first point, that if if you're looking at the facts and saying, he used to be a better guy and he let himself go, I'm assuming 20 years ago he wasn't this way? Um, no, he wasn't. He was a different person. And when my daughter was born, he was working and he was, you know, it seemed like he was proud to be the of... breadwinner and the family man. And... How did he lose his job? Um, he started, he, there was a back injury involved. He did heavy construction Mm -hmm. and, um, it put him on disability for a while. Uh, but then he got over it and tried to go back to the same kind of job and it didn't quite work out. I guess the pain was too much for him. Yeah. And so he tried to do other things, um, like his own business, like a maintenance business, but it, he just never... Um, completely committed to it. So it isn't that he tried his darndest and it fell through. It's that you didn't see him energetically uh, trying to make it work when right. it could have. Right. So whether he, if he didn't like the maintenance business, he could have looked for other businesses. I know the economy is really bad going forward, but it sounds like when this all fell apart, he 11 years ago, the economy was very different and he could have made much better choices. So right. it, when you sit back and evaluate him and compare him to other men you know, you can see the diff- to men who do take responsibility for their lives my guess is your emotions are different towards him now, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Go ahead. I don't see him as um, my partner. So the marriage is dissolving, even though it's remain, you're both are remaining married. So um, I know we're winding down here, but it, it's basically you want to show your daughter that um, achieving good things in life are possible, including especially your own happiness. But what does happiness involve? It involves having a good romantic relationship or at least living alone where you're not trapped with somebody who's not um, supportive of you. Uh, and you could move on and find someone else eventually. It means having a career that you enjoy. It means having good friendships. It means having interests or hobbies that you enjoy. It means spending wonderful moments with your daughter and having maybe some hobbies with her or doing something. I think that's, that's the fuel that we all live for. That's what makes us look back on any particular day and say, wow, that was worth living. That was fun. I think if you that now that your daughter's older and can ha- can um, 
has more facts, I think that it would be important to uh, maybe get some uh, to go to a therapist for yourself, even if he's not willing to go and to um, figure out how to strategize maybe moving out. Listen, thank you so much for your call, Jackie. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, When we come back, I am going to be talking about what happens when a spouse cheats on you and then wants you to forgive and forget, or what happens if your best friend broke your confidence and then wants the same thing, forgiveness. Do you have to forgive people who have deeply hurt you, or do you have to turn the other cheek? I'll be talking about forgiveness with Dr. Tara Smith, a professor of philosophy at the University of Texas, Austin, and her specialty is ethics. I'm Dr. Ellen Kenner on the Rational Basis of Happiness. Here's an excerpt from The Selfish Path to Romance, the Serious Romance Guidebook by clinical psychologist Drs. Kenner and Locke, Here are a few assertiveness tips that may help you express yourself more effectively. 1. Limit your complaint to the most pressing issue. Deal with one issue at a time using examples as needed and make it the most important one. Overwhelming your partner with a litany of complaints will shut down the conversation abruptly. No one can manage even three issues at once. 2. Do not be afraid to express strong emotion, provided this is not done with malice or with you language, you always, you never, but with frankness. For example, I'm furious now. I'll be back in half an hour to talk about what happened. Your partner needs to know the intensity with which some conflict is affecting you. You can download Chapter 1 for free by going to drkenner.com and buy it at amazon.com. 